All right, still uh, playing Borneo on crushing difficulty. Just me and Smooth. Um, once again, I point out, like I said before, that sniper up there will spawn infinitely, uh, meaning that eventually you quit getting cash for killing him, but he keeps spawning. And obviously, you want him to be dead before you start tapping on that box, or else he'll snipe you in the back of the head. And uh, could just so happen to occur at the time that you spawn uh, the next wave of enemies so uh, you want to wait for your teammates to get back in position notice smooth getting back behind that log we've been behind this whole time and uh, one two three four five six uh, that's the magic number on this box uh, just like on the third box six taps spawns the first wave the second wave uh, the numbers different on this one I'll tell you in a minute but um, you want to tap that six times and then come back over here and get in position and enemies come out. And this wave is actually a lot smaller than uh, the waves that spawn for the third box. Uh, if you notice that. And there's that pesky sniper back again. And uh, so anyway, yeah, aside from that sniper that you have to shoot across the way, uh, the rest of these enemies down here uh, just kind of like shooting fish in a barrel, man. They, uh, they just bunch of normal enemies they run down here like I said the waves for this fourth box are a lot smaller and lighter in comparison to those for the third box I think the game tries to give you a false sense of security before the uh, you know boss fight with Draza comes up um, so anyway that's, that's pretty cool but yeah like I said knowing how these spawn waves work you know you can imagine um, it's extraordinarily helpful if you were to just keep tapping on the box you'd spawn all these waves at once but the way we do it, we spawn one wave, kill them, spawn another wave, kill them. So um, I'm going to put this in fast forward right here because uh, we spent a little bit of time running around. Smooth was looking for a, a, a good pistol or whatever. And um, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you've got, uh, you know, good ammo and that you're prepared or whatever. Um, obviously, like I pointed out before, if you had three players, you would, um, this would be even easier. Uh not that it's not easy now but anyway uh when you want to spawn the next wave you're just going to tap the box twice all right just two taps on the box and um next wave will come out and after that um we're going to get ready for draza i'm going to show you draza and his uh lieutenant self dying in the next video but yeah, you do want to watch out for this sniper. Remember when uh, when the sniper beams out, you need to just roll and roll and roll. Um, sometimes it's worth not killing him if you want to conserve ammo, especially if you got three players and they're all sucking up the uh, same ammo type or whatever. So notice I just tapped the box twice that time, and I'm running over here uh, to get in position. And uh, see these boxes that you climb up here. Enemies never climb up that box. And so uh, this is just the perfect spot to set up shop and uh, get a really good aim at everybody. I think I shot that guy as he was dropping down. Like I said, this is uh, just fishing the barrel time right here. People are just uh, sitting down here and you just um, shoot them in the head while they're taking cover like that right there. Bow. And um, not a real difficult spot. The, uh, the next section, as you'll hear me talk you through... Um, for Draza does switch things up just a little bit that is the only time the enemies will spawn from behind us right here you do want to watch out for these rocket guys coming back out though during this second spawn I uh, noticed that first spawn had no armored enemies whatsoever but we've got armored rocket guys over here and like I pointed out before in case you didn't watch the other videos um, uh, you don't want to both be taking cover on that log when the guy shoots the rocket because sometimes you can get splash damage. I've, I've played this map with three players before and a uh, guy fires a rocket from right there and, um, you know, takes out all three of us and that really sucks. So uh, it's a good headshot from Smooth on that guy and there's another rocket guy that spawns way down there. Did you see us shooting at? Uh, you want to be careful for these guys, you know what I'm saying? I got the towel sniper. I like that little red dot. Uh, so he's like wobbling his head back and forth. Usually I'm a better shot than that, but uh, yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of bobbing his head. So anyway, that's four hundred dollars for that, and I think I'm gonna do a little hip thrust because I was happy about that. Uh, so knocking out a couple more. 
these guys down here take this guy out like I said um, nothing super major for me to tell you about or explain during this but I appreciate you watching the video and uh, right after this you're gonna see me get the um, omnipotent trophy since I'm playing on my Zen Genius account um, and earning trophies twice uh, it's, don't ask so <laughs> yeah once you've got everybody though uh, you can finish tapping the box and you get that red ring checkpoint and uh, we'll pick up in the next video from there I think